Anyway, we thought we'd nip down here and straighten out a little bit of excitement we've got with our bee boxes. And oh shit, I've just missed the driveway. God, grief. Hang on. Anyway, we'll park over here so we don't get hit. We'll turn around. We're just going to straighten out some boxes that we've got. We've got an extra super on the top. Anyway, well, when we get there, we'll show you what we've done. So it's a bit interesting with our double brood box turned into a single brood box, which has turned into two supers, and it's anyway, it's a bit of a drama. So we're trying to get shit straightened out and make a bit of a head start for the wintering. I think my feeders are working, but that's not what we're here for. We've got some girls here that have got an extra super because I don't know if you remember back in the day we had Jolly a double brood box and then we put a super on top of the double brood box and then there hasn't been a nectar flow. So now we've got two supers and a brood and they're actually getting some nectar but they've got it all in a bit of a mishmash so we're going to try and sort it out. So hopefully we can actually get a taste of this red mally honey that the girls are busy collecting at the minute. <sighs> Tell you what, it's been an arduous year. But anyway, at least we've got some that are still alive, which is better than we can say for some of our mates. We've got most of them straightened out. This is these last few here now. So we'll see whether we can make a good job of this. A little bit of, give them a little bit of puff. We'll just get this pallet off the lid. We ran out of shake off this pallet, so I don't know whether it's doing much chopping. Oh! Let's see what trouble we have. It's not real hectic up the top here. But we'll see if we've got any nectar going on under here. So I suppose in a way, that's our own populous map. <laughs> that's one of those ones we put down the other way. We'll see whether they've got any nectar up here. It doesn't look like it. I think they've moved it already for us a bit, but no, there is some honey on there already. There is honey happening. And it's getting ripe. Oh, this is the thing we're working on. Hmm, oh, well, it looks like that one might get to say. The plan is, of course, if you haven't missed the memo, we're going to try and consolidate these two supers into one so then the girls can fill at least complete the frames because they're filling up a bit here and a bit there and all over the shop because things are a bit dark. and Well, not dark. Things are a bit dark, dark, dwarf. Anyway, things are a bit bloody light on for nectar, <laughs> that's for sure. So we're just going to see if we can't figure out some way to get the girls a little bit psyched up for winter. See there's one that's totally, there's one they see they've have got a little bit of nectar in here but I want them to store it in the one spot. So we'll pop this one on the ground and we'll have a look what's going on downstairs one down. Ooh. God, stuck that together all right didn't they? <laughs> okay, yeah. Ooh. Yeah we'll see what's going on in this little one. They look pretty bloody full actually. Mm -mm. Look at that. That looks pretty bloody good. <laughs> now, what are we going to do? <laughs> Let's see if we can find one that isn't full. We'll go the opposite way. We'll have a look over this end of town. See whether there's anything over here. But it feels pretty heavy. So I think we might be in all sorts of excitement. Okay, so that's par partially going anyway. We got some neck to that side. I'll get the sun on the right angle. So there they are, they're filling that up. So this particular hive, I wonder if we actually swap them around and put that top super underneath this one. Since it's actually got some fair bit and it's even got some in there, we're gonna actually just take this super off and put under super it with the one that was already there. And that's gonna be the job for this, for this hive. And then we'll just make a decision on each one as we go through. So this is slightly different to what I had planned, but that's what we're going to do because it's already got a nice honey full of super. A super full of honey, not a honey full of super. That'd be funny if it was. Anyway, <laughs> that's a bloody bit of bad English. Make sure I get under the queen excluder so we can crack it open. Oh, you do Oh, let's let you know you're alive, lad. Oh, let's carry on. Shall we have a quick look at their brood while we're at it? They look pretty happy down there. We'll leave them alone. We'll give that another day. We'll annoy them enough today. Plus, we've got enough to do. Hopefully, we can get it in the gap. Cool. Yep. Then we'll put this one up the top. And then, 
when we come back to do the honey harvest, they will have straightened it out, hopefully. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Slightly different to my plan, but we'll see what's in the next one. Anyway, I guess that's the thing about beekeeping, you can make it up as you go along. see what sort of trouble these girls are in. Alright, right, there's a little bit less excitement going on here. I don't think there's nothing in there. But we'll have a look. I don't even reckon they'll even come up here. Or maybe over here. Alrighty, -o. I reckon, young fella, this is a pretty easy decision. We're just going to take this whole top off and be done, and then we'll have a look what's underneath it. Just pop this in our trailer. We do have to have a look out down a bit further yet. At least that feels like it's got a bit of something happening. So they're getting there, they're getting that almost ready to cap because it looks like it's fairly stable. Whoo wee! We might just poke her head in their brood box though, because they're not really active. These guys aren't getting real excited. Pop this off. Have a bit of a look downstairs and see what they're doing. Since we're here playing around. What are we doing, chicky babes? Not really excited. Plenty of nectar down here that they're nibbling on. <laughs> here we go. Here's all the troops being made. This is like the little factory. <laughs> anyway, that doesn't look too shabby. Shall we shake them off so we can have a proper look at it? Looks alright to me. Can't see any perforated bits and well hell, while we while we've got them stirred up, we'll have a bit of a look. What the hell? Can't get in too much trouble, can it? So there's a nice young larvae in here. Well, that means they're at least getting some food. And they don't look over hectic, but hell, it's been a pretty arduous season, so I'm happy that they're even getting excited a bit. They've got a bit of nectar on board. They've got a bit of sealed honey. They've got a bit of brood going on. They've got a bit of young larvae. I haven't seen the boss, but she's in here somewhere. Otherwise, there wouldn't be some eggs laid. So we won't get too stressed out about finding her. I'll put this back together. They've been very nice and polite. Haven't got excited at all. <laughs> Pop our little super back on. Did we have any mat on top of that? Or not? No? Maybe not. There we go. Oh my goodness me. Skid <laughs> ourselves a lid put them all back together and they won't even know we were here. <laughs> Something like that anyway. Probably will know we were here. Yeah. They'll know that we're here because they could watch the footage, couldn't they? <laughs> That'd be something different, wouldn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking if, we're, if the bees had invented TVs and in the internet and all that cool shit, I wonder if all the screens would have been in hexagon shape. <laughs> well, they'd make everything else's hexagons. I guess it would. I guess that's what would happen. Anyway, sorry. Tush. <laughs> oh, no, ladies. Hello, hello, hello. What are we doing up here? Bit of a peekaboo and see what's happening. Looks like this is actually fairly full. No, it's not. <laughs> it was full. That one did have some. We're filling it up. But yeah, there's still there's obviously still some some nectar going on here. 
We've almost got that capped off. Too many stories for the girls to pick from, that's the problem. Slip that off of there. That one looks pretty full. They're working their way across here, but anyway, we'll have a look and see whether we've got any room down here. We might do something similar to that other one, swap them around. Yeah, it's the same as the top. See, now this is the problem we've got. They're storing honey everywhere and they're not finishing it all off. So we've got to finish this side, but not that side. Obviously, we don't want to lose any of these frames. So, God. <laughs> I don't know. We have created a problem. <laughs> it would have been good if they'd just decided to fill one super at a time, but that's not how this shit works, is it? Oh, I don't know. Well, that frame looks pretty lovely, good to me. Oh, no, it's still got some fresh stuff at the bottom. What are they doing? They've got one side that's full. Like this, hang on, we'll have a look at the next frame just to make a liar of me. <laughs> that's interesting, isn't it? This still hasn't got it, that's what's going on. This one hasn't, we haven't even got a queen excluder in here yet. Shit! You ruffian! Oh dear! <laughs> oh, this is another complication already! I don't think we brought any queen excluders with us either. That wasn't, that wasn't really part of the plan. I thought we'd done all of them. We'll just put this one back together. We'll have a look. I'll go and have a look in the ute. Hang on. I don't think I've got any though. Ow! 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 Licking. That was a bit mean. <laughs> well, I have a box of queen excluders in the other ute, but that's not here, so that's a little bit pointless, isn't it? We should put a mark on it and put a thing there saying, don't forget the queen excluder next time you're here. How would that be for an idea? Where's my texter? I don't know. All the best laid plans, isn't it? Oh dear, you unfortunate bees. <laughs> Where's the texter? Oh, it's in the shed with the other project. <laughs> Did you bring one? <laughs> this old plan isn't quite working out, is it? But anyway, oh well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So that we didn't really get the, the bloody supers rearranged quite like I wanted but the good part about that is, is that these supers on the top are basically full of honey and so in a couple of weeks time when the girls are finished capping it off we'll come back down here and we'll be able to take the honey away and get them organized in a proper format so we can fulfill some of these orders that are streaming online like crazy <laughs> <laughs>